Hey everyone, this is Josh with another Bitcoin and blockchain tutorial available at chaintuts.com. And this is a very special tutorial today coming to you from the 2019 Blockchain Training Conference here in beautiful Aurora, Colorado. So tomorrow I'll be giving a talk on visualizing proof of work algorithms with microprocessors. And this video is a sort of companion to that talk, as this is a code companion for the software itself that I wrote uh, to do this cool proof of work simulation slash visualization. So I got the idea to create this proof of work simulation that runs on these cool little Adafruit microprocessors uh, when I got this controller at uh, the 2019 Python convention that I attended. I thought I have to do something interesting for the Chain Tutorials website and help explain some concept uh, using this cool little goodie. So I decided that it would be a good idea to help uh, explain proof of work in a way that's easier to understand for people without a deeper computer science background. There are several concepts such as hashing algorithms, uh, binary numbers, and a little bit of probability that are needed to understand proof of work. And this is such a critical concept when it comes to decentralization and uh, security in the world of cryptocurrencies. I want everybody to be able to understand this uh, and how it works, uh, even if they don't necessarily have a CS background. So the first interesting thing that I had to work on in the code for MicroProver is uh, creating a toy hashing algorithm. So the cryptographic hashing algorithms like SHA-256 that are used in the real Bitcoin aren't necessarily well supported on these little microcontrollers. Now for another project I have a code companion out for, MicroBitAdder, uh, I was able to port over real cryptographic primitives, but I needed a more powerful line of microcontrollers than uh, the Adafruit M0 used for this project. So I didn't find it necessary to actually even use real uh, cryptographic algorithms because this is just a simula uh, simulation designed for learning purposes. So uh, the hash algorithm used in uh, this project, MicroProver, is actually the sort of hash that you would find uh, doing something like a simple hash table implementation. I simply take the modulus of uh, the data by 256 since I wanted to use 8-bit numbers for this simulation. So the 8-bit number space ranges from 0 to 255 and therefore there's 256 total numbers. Uh, when you take the mod, which is uh, basically the remainder of division, uh, you get a possible 256 8-bit hash outputs. So that works really well for the simulation since uh, it would be expensive and uh, really, really difficult to port over a real cryptographic uh, implementation like SHA-256 and say just take the first uh, byte of that, and it's just simply not necessary for the purposes of this project. So the other interesting thing I needed to work out to help people understand proof of work easier is uh, understanding binary numbers. So uh, we are used to, in our day-to-day -day lives, using decimal, which is base 10. But a binary is sort of at the base of everything that happens in computing. And that's what all electronics are built off of uh, when it comes to uh, anything that does any computation in a modern sense. So microcontrollers, uh, computers, cell phones, all use binary numbers. So what I did was I created a function that converts data into a raw binary representation by using some bit masking techniques, which are pretty interesting, and then actually displaying that binary uh, in the form of red and green LEDs. So for my simulation here on this microprocessor, zero is represented by a red LED, and one is represented by a green LED. So you can see here, here's a final hash solution uh, computed in our little simulation here, and we have four leading zeros and then four ones. So that was below the difficulty target for this simulation that I ran. 
Now, tying that into how proof of work actually works, well, in real Bitcoin, we use big 256-bit numbers, and uh, the 8-bit numbers simply just make this easier to understand because it's a smaller scale. So what this simulation does in MicroProver is you set a difficulty level uh, ranging from 1 to 7, and that is the number of leading zeros in our 8-bit number. And so that is the target number that our final hash output, our fake block hash, needs to be less than so that we've found a solution and proved work. So for example, if I program this uh, simulation to need three leading zeros for the difficulty target and then run it, I find a bunch of uh, possible hash attempts are flashed on the board as they are computed. And the final solution is then displayed once it is found. So for example here, we have a final block hash that has five leading zeros. That's less than our difficulty target. And so we've done proof of work. Now as a bonus, I tied a visualization into this. Uh, you can actually pull data off of this device with a USB cable. It uh, logs to a CSV file, and you can run that through a Python script that will graph the difficulty targets versus the number of attempts that the processor went through to try and find the solution. So overall, I think this is a really interesting project that makes it a little bit easier to digest the computer science concepts that go into proof of work. So instead of having to understand sort of astronomically large numbers and secure cryptographic hashes, you just see uh, an idea of you know, how a one-way hash function works. You can see binary numbers on a small scale that's easy to understand with 8-bit numbers. And you can tie that together and simulate using a small processor what Bitcoin miners go through when they're trying to guess and find solutions uh, to the proof of work problem needed. So I encourage you to check out this code on GitHub, uh, GitHub at chain T-U-T-S. And uh, there's an, of course an article that accompanies this video as well. So if you'd like to see a little bit more of the specifics that went into the code, you can uh, find that information on there. So again, uh, today uh, is the first day of the blockchain training conference that I'm recording this video. And uh, tomorrow, so uh, it's gonna be the Thursday 12 noon slot, I'm going to be giving my official talk where I'm gonna go more in depth on explaining proof of work, why it's important, and then running through this simulation. So this video here is just more of the code companion uh, talking about how I developed this and why, and there is more goodies with this proof of work simulation to come. As always, thank you very much for listening.